Hello everybody, Edwin is here and today we'll talk about uh, the 2D snapping grids and 3D snapping grids in 3D code and I could have used a cube to explain the concept but I'll use this truck that I you know, created a few weeks ago might be you know, a cool example, a more interesting example to show how I used those, this particular tool a uh, no, more practical example really and I used to, uh, the 2D snapping grid to create these reflective elements on the sides of the truck and the, have all these holes. So right now we are inside the 3D code scene and it's a little bit heavy so I'll just turn off the truck and leave the trailer. Right, so if we go into the view and we show the show 3D grid and snap to 3D grid, you'll get it. I'll turn off the perspective view, pressing button 5 on my numpad. And then I'll try to split something, right? And I'm splitting it, and I got a split. So the thing is that I'm kind of like guessing in darkness here. I cannot see the 3D grid through the object. This is a big uh, thing with 3D code right now. Maybe some of the 3D code developers will watch this video and they think, oh, we can fix it. But I cannot see the 3D grid through the object. So essentially, what I want to, what I need to do, what I need to. Uh, uh, to address it, how I have to move the whole assembly uh, by a fixed amount of uh, ball like minus 60, right? By minus 60 units there, and then I can see the overlay of this 3D grid on top, and then I can split doing can start doing the splits. But the, the issue is that I don't want to move my objects around because I want them to be dead in the center of the world because I deal a lot with these simply called symmetries. And I w sometimes, quite often, I reset the symmetry to the world center when I deal with complicated objects and such. So I don't want my objects to be off center, or you know, you move it and then you forget about it, and it becomes a bit of a headache. So that's why I'm using the two degree more often than the three degree. So let's just turn this off and let's show the two degree and this. So the 2D grid, you can see it snaps right onto it. It doesn't scale with the, you, you know, you cannot zoom or zoom out of it. Uh, it can, you can only modify it by yourself by scaling it up and down. And by the way, I've forgotten to mention about it. In 3D, 3D grid, of course, you can change the grid density and make it as big or small as you want. So the thing is that I, I was doing this pretty quick concept, right? Uh, concept of the truck, so I didn't need to d have too much precision, but I needed some precision so it wouldn't be too random the placement of these um, you know, rectangulars. So I used the 2D grid and used the split tool, started doing these small, small guys. Just I would just count like, oh, this like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, la, 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 and another one somewhere there, and then there, or then split the whole segment by and do the big split. It was really handy, but again, if it just zoom out a little bit, it fucks it up all over. So <laughs> that's a big issue. Uh, generally, I would rather forget about 2D snapping grid, grid altogether. It's only maybe <coughs> uh, use a, uh, you, you might only be in a real big need of it if you're doing like a you know, top-down thing, like where uh, 3D grid won't really help you, like I'm doing a diagonal view right now. And kind of like that, which again a bit of a strange thing. Why would you do that? But maybe you find, well, maybe you'll do it. You know, I I I can think about doing a robot or something like that, and applying it uh, from an angle. But really, for the top precision, you can use three D grid. Just just remember that it still snaps from behind the object, but it just you cannot see the. Uh, grid itself, and you have to m move it uh, one way or another. Okay, yeah. So you can see the whole trailer is a bit offset to the uh, to the back. So this is why I can actually see the front uh, grid in front and snap to it pretty easily. And we can change the uh, grid density to small and probably too small. Why is it so small? Probably custom. Oh yeah, here's a custom. It's gonna be really handy and scalable, which is really important. 
So see guys, it's up for you what you want to use 3D grid or 2, 2D grid, but I think not many people know that they can use this pretty cool tool inside 3D code and 3D code and you can merge it with other tools as splitting or you know, uh, cutting and hiding, voxel hiding. Hopefully it's going to be useful for you guys. And if you're curious about this truck, I'll post a link in the description. You can check it out on my art station. Thank you guys. See you next time.